Hello, Plant Tribe, and welcome back to another episode of Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. If you're new here, welcome. It is so lovely to have you. My name is Nikki. Uh, for those of you who are returning like the gluttons for punishment that you are, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. So, today, <clears throat> got some things to do, and I was tagged um, in the Truth or Dare tag. Uh, this tag was created by Just Myra. She is as sweet as pie. I'll post, uh, put a picture of her channel here and I will also link it down below. And I was tagged by uh, Sma, I think. I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name. I feel like such a jerk. Um, anyways, uh, send me hydroponics. She does all that kind of stuff. She's super amazing at it. I don't know how she does it. I've tried. I gave up. <laughs> Anywho, uh, but so if you're into uh, semi hydro or passive hydro, uh, definitely go check out her channel. She has all kinds of really great information about that. So I have my wonderful assistant just off camera here. Jordan, say hello. Hello. There he is. So he is going to ask me the questions while I do said repotting. Um, I do have a lot of stuff to repot and up pot and move around and all that kind of stuff. So. This was just easier and he was home. So I took advantage of that. <laughs> okay, so if that sounds like something that you would like to watch, then go ahead and stick around and uh, let's do this. <laughs> well, you can't repot without a beverage. I think there's a law somewhere. It's like feels wrong to barbecue with that beer. Yeah, you can't barbecue with it that either. I've done it before, it's just all kinds it's of It's not right. No. Blasphemy. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna get the burps. <sighs> okay, so here's the situation with repotting today. I have this bird of paradise that literally is making all of the soil come up and out of the pot. So I can only imagine what the roots look like. I also have a, so my plain green peace lily is in, I think it's an eight inch terracotta pot. Um, now if you don't have peace lilies or if you do and aren't sure, peace lilies are super, super thirsty plants and really shouldn't be in terracotta. Now I do have a domino peace lily that is in terracotta and it's actually doing quite well, but I do have to water it like every other day. Like it's crazy. So my plan today <clears throat> is to basically up pot everything and then um, some of my smaller things need potting too, but we'll just kind of do whatever we can repot while we answer these questions. I'm not going to like put you through the painful agony of watching me repot 10 plants, but so we're going to start with this one because literally the soil just keeps falling out because the roots are pushing the whole plant up and out of the pot. <laughs> um, also. I'm gonna tip it. That <laughs> is a problem. That was my first indication. Actually, it coming out of the pot was my first indication and that was the second that it was like rocking on its platter thing. Okay, so that is where we're gonna start today. Um, so I'm gonna set this aside and actually try to get this out of the pot first. Okay. <clears throat> Lovely assistant. Question number one. Oh yeah, this is not. <laughs> what made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube? Oh, um, it's a good question actually. So we were actually talking to the kids for a long time because they wanted to do YouTube. We all kind of wanted to do something. We tossed a lot of ideas around, and then <laughs> it really wasn't until I got into like a serious plant situation. Um, we actually started um, some gardens out front. So I was looking up, and this is how I even found this community. Um, and I have said this before, so for those of you who have heard this story before, I apologize, but there's all kinds of new people since then. Um, so anyways, we were looking to create a brand new flower bed out in our front yard. Uh, the guy that lived here before was a bachelor and there was no gardens to be seen 
Um, oh my god, there's so many roots in here. Uh, anyway, um, it was just grass and a little walkway and the driveway and that was it. So we were looking for videos on how to dig fresh, like brand new flower beds, if there was a particular way we had to do it or whatever. And we came across Laura from Garden Answer. If you don't know who that is, what are you doing with your life? Um, Laura is the, the queen of gardens, I would say. <laughs> like, she, uh, she's amazing. Her and her husband have an amazing channel called Garden Answer. And um, they're just wonderful. And she's so incre incredibly knowledgeable. And her content is like spot on. Her, like everything, everything. It's just like, anyway. So if you haven't checked her out yet and you don't know who that is, please, after you're done watching this video, of course, um, go to YouTube, type in Garden Answer, and then intend to spend the next like six days just binge watching videos. Uh, they do upload every single day. Um, okay, anyway, so we came across her channel and I think then from there I found Harley. And then I realized, oh my gosh, there's this entire like plant community on YouTube um, I've loved plants my entire life, so it was a quick and easy transition into insanity. Uh, so anyway, and this is not coming out of here. I need a, I need that a knife. The bottom is kind of fucked out too, so. The Bruce, that's the thing with terracotta too, is right, they, they like grip to the. Well, we. We did just get a knife in, or I bought a knife that's insanely sharp, so. No, I just need like a. Butter knife? Yeah. Oh, Thank you. That's no fun. Yeah. I don't want to hack the roots, I just want to get them off the side of the pot. Violin. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm just going to slide this down along the side of the pot and just kind of pry out and. You might have to manipulate that root coming at the bottom though, because it's yeah. kind of hooked, I'm like a hook, so stop coming She in, in there good. Mm -hmm. This is such a bad idea. I mean, to put it in this pot was a bad idea. But in my defense, this is the first time I've had a bird of paradise and was not aware that the roots were as crazy as they are. Um. Anyway, oh my gosh, this is turning into such a long story. Um, so I just thought I would give it a try and see how, like, I like to talk, if that wasn't blatantly obvious, and I'm definitely not shy. <laughs> so I just kind of started, and uh, here we are. One year later, I think almost to the day. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'd have to go back and look, but I think it's it's almost to the day. Um, Crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought, eh? I know. And so, uh, yeah, 3,000 subscribers later and one year later and here we are. And almost 3,100. Yeah, it is 3,100. Oh, is it? 3,100 as of today. Nice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, you. That is a thick root. Okay, I got to show you guys this. This is wild. Of look at that it looks like <laughs> so Troy my uh, 10 year old just came up here and now he's completely distraught by the fact that there's some kind of alien coming out of the bottom of this pot mm -hmm. this is not gonna go well question number two yeah so anyway yeah question, right, so number, question two. number two is uh, do you like your username and if not what would you change it to I, I like it. Actually, it took me, I, I really actually put quite a bit of thought into what I wanted my name on YouTube to be. And um, we tossed around a few things, none of which I can remember at this point. And then it just kind of came to me one day. It was catchy. It was something that um, was definitely unique. And I've actually got quite a few compliments on plants, pots, and whatnots because it's definitely something that, that grabs the eye. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't change it. I think it's done well. I don't know what to do with this plant. Well, while you're still figuring it out, I'll ask you another question. Okay, next question. Alright. Uh, has, be has becoming a YouTuber or 
plant tuber, as it's sometimes called, been worth it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> did you break the roof? Look. You did. It's empty. That's fine. Oh, okay. We did break off this little roof. But look it. There's like no soil left over in there. Lowered. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I definitely think it was worth it. I definitely don't regret my decision to start doing YouTube. Um and being a plant tuber. Um, I've met some amazing, beautiful people and just some of the most kind people. And I've also, in the process, learned about all kinds of plants that I would not probably have seen or heard of previous to that. Probably and wouldn't have bothered with a lot of these types of plants. Even no. if you went to nursery and saw them and just be like, oh, that's nice, and then move on. Yeah. So yeah, no, I definitely don't don't ever regret it. Is a lot of work? Heck yeah. It doesn't seem like a lot of work, and I know, you know, you guys kind of hear us say like, oh, you know, it's a lot of work, and people are like, whatever, how hard is it to sit down in front of a camera and just like film? Unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as that. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to just undo some of these oh. roots. <laughs> they're so creepy looking, aren't they? Big roots. Yeah, they're very, um, very, very chunky. It's like a tree. Yeah. <laughs> so we just want to give them some stretching. Oh, a vacuum is going to be required. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, it's a lot of work, but I, I enjoy it. I love, um, you know, talking to you guys. I love having this community. Um, I don't think collecting plants would be quite the same if I wasn't able to share them with somebody. Um, like Jordan is, despite what he may tell you, getting a little bit more into plants. Like he knows a lot of plants now and, and that kind of thing. And he comes home and he'll look at plants and see which one's growing. Yeah. And Like I'll never be to where you are as far as interest is concerned, but yeah, yeah I don't, I don't mind them nearly as much yeah. as I used to. You never really minded them. No, I, I've never had a problem with yeah. them. It's just, I do have a, s a slightly more of an interest in them now, but yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll never be to a point where I'm going, oh, you know, I wouldn't mind my own channel or, you know, when I take on it, like, I'll, <laughs> I'll never, ever, ever do that and never have that sort of an interest. But it this is neat, just the different kinds that there are and the different I guess, colorations. Of... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. All right, okay. number four. This is going to take me forever to put all this soil in here. If you were given a chance to choose between a free lunch or a free plant, what would you pick? So I feel like, depending on where the free lunch is coming from and what kind of plant you could get, it would that would really depend. If, you know, yeah. if it was like a, a free lunch anywhere or this Monstera Obliqua. <laughs> like, you know what I no mean? No brainer! Yeah, they're, you know... Or what's the other one there? Spiritus Sancti? Spiritus Sancti, yep. Yeah, but See, I mean... He pays attention. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> but I mean, if it's... I don't know, if somebody's saying something as simple as, you know, here's a... I'll just say, you know, the, 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 the Bilitae standard. Oh, sorry. What is it? The Biliatae? <laughs> Biliatae. Biliatae. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll do enough. So if it was, you know, maybe a choice between that plant and, you know... A really fancy lunch somewhere and there was no price cap I don't know I'd probably take for me I think you know free lunch would be good I mean if you're going to like a five-star you know fancy upscale restaurant or something that you would never ever eat or go to eat on your own whose questionnaire is this I don't know I'm just thinking about it so. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just hungry I'm a little hungry <laughs> okay so my answer, I mean, so I'll give Jordan half of that because it really would depend on what kind of plant. If you're going to offer me like a snake plant or a pothos or something like that over a lunch, I'd probably go, "Now nah, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> um, but if it was, you know, like one of my aeroids or something like that, that I had been looking for or something like that, I'm definitely taking the plant. All day long. <laughs> a wish list plant. If it was a wish list plant. Even even if it's you know one of the ones that I really like that I already have, I would take that over lunch. Any lunch anytime. Really? 
Yeah. Are you surprised by that answer? No. A little yes, a little no. Again, I think it. I think it would really depend on. I mean, not just the plan, but also where was this lunch? If somebody said, "Well, I just like a McDonald's or or Wendy's or something," well, no. No. <laughs> Sorry. Take me to the keg or Red Lobster. Yeah, like if it was somewhere that you would never choose to eat because it was too expensive, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like a place that might where. That be worth it. You know, I've I've looked up some restaurants, and it's you know it would easily cost a person two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars just for them, one yeah. person, because of. The reputation of the restaurant and you're getting wagyu beef instead of just a simple you're just gonna make me hungry yeah yeah, yeah. so that's that hi all right so question five do you think you have changed since the your first video and if so how uh, uh. well i'm not any less clumsy <laughs> nope. um I think, I think everybody, you know, changes over the course of a year anyway, but as far as who I am on YouTube, um, I'm still me. I don't know how to be anything else other than that. Um, I think you just become more comfortable with... That's what I was just going to say. I'm definitely more comfortable. Um, I don't feel as awkward in front of a camera anymore. I can just sit down and film and it's not a big deal. Um, whereas in the beginning, I was definitely, like, really awkward. <laughs> like, if, if you've been around a while, you know what I'm saying. Um, and if it didn't seem like I was awkward, <laughs> that's even better. But I definitely was. Um, what's the question again? What did I answer? Um, oh, if I changed. Yeah, we changed it to first video. Um, yeah, so, I mean, in that regard... I've definitely changed. I, I don't think I've changed any other way. I'm still me. I'm still, you know. It's just a comfort level, but I think yeah. with the comfort level comes a more relaxed, I guess, recording. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to have to get more soil here. So number six is, have you ever taken cuttings of a plant from a big box store, nursery, or any public place. What kind and how do you feel about it? I actually haven't. Um, I think this this question was in the um, Never Have I Ever as well. I, it's never even crossed my mind to do that. <laughs> um, now, it's funny. After I did the Never Have I Ever tag, because that's what I said in the Never Have I Ever tag. I was like, it's honestly never crossed my mind. And then I was actually in a plant shop two days ago in a nursery. And there was this little cutting of, um, what was it? Tritoscantia, I think. And I was like, it was sitting there. Just sitting there. And I was like, hmm. That's what people mean. <laughs> like, I already had that particular one, so I wasn't thinking about taking it. But I've never actually even seen one lying around before. So, that was kind of interesting, but... Anyway, no, I have not. Um, oh, right. What do you? How do you feel about it? Um, I think that if it's on the floor and it's getting like trampled, I honestly don't see a problem with just picking it up. Now, knowing myself, I would probably feel like shady about that, so I would probably just tell somebody and be like, "Hey." This was getting trampled on the floor. I picked it up. Can I just like take it? Cause you're gonna sweep it up and kill it anyways. <laughs> I don't know. But that's if I was gonna do it. I probably wouldn't anyway. Okay. That's that's, that's enough of that question. <laughs> All right. And then the number seven. If you were asked to change your name to a plant name, what would it be and why? <sighs> oh man. Like like a, a genus name or like a I guess like a you know choose like whatever you want it to be. <sighs> Princess like Consuela Banana name. Hammock is that what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouthful. Do you know what that's from? I've seen the movie, but I can't remember the name of it. It's from Friends. 
You're the Friends fan. I'm not. I'm not that kind of a fan. I mean, I know quite a bit, but you have to realize, like, it's not like I binge watch this stuff. It's just, I never have. I like the show, and I think it's hilarious. I mean, if it was on TV, I would always choose to watch it over everything else. But no, like, I don't remember everything. You know how many seasons there were? Yeah. That's a lot to remember. I need a lot more stuff. I think that, that was uh, Phoebe's. It was Phoebe. You're right. Hello, Okay. I don't even know what question I was answering. Now, if you change your name to a plant, oh, name, yeah. what would it be? Like? Yeah, no, I wouldn't change my name. Oh, wait, no, this one. Oh, the plant name. Sorry, I'm getting really confused. Um. I don't know. Like, my, my mind automatically wants to go to plants that I like, but I understand that the question is more of, like, what do you most relate to? Do you know? Or that's how I'm taking it anyway. I'm really hoping this isn't too loud. I don't know. I don't know. There, I honestly, there's so many you could choose from. Yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. What's, what's a name that I kind of like? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the newest addition to the family's been Caladiums. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to be named Caladium. So what's like a plant that I have that I could see myself being called? Queen, in theory. <laughs> queen. There we go. Just call me Queen. Could be, you know, Marble Queen. Could be Queen Anthurium. Could Crimson be Queen. Crimson Queen, yeah. Crimson Queen. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't think of anything else, that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, I think that was it, and it's on to on the bottom here. See dares. Oh boy. So there are three dares. First one is do an impression of a YouTuber or plant tuber that you like or have just. Okay, I'm going to do an impression of somebody, but here's the thing. I'm not going to tell you who it is. You have to guess down in the comments, because that's more fun. And I got this bag of soil. Ta-da! Bag of soil! Okay, who is that? It's probably not good, but I think you guys will be able to figure out who it is. Okay, <laughs> what's the next question? Um, show one weird thing that you can do. One weird thing that I can do? Yeah. Well, I can make myself burp, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Cause yeah, I can't do that. Um, what can I do? It's like you're leaving it at the burp thing or something. Is that something that not everybody I can, can I can do, do this, which is kind of weird. Can you see that? I can't do that either. <laughs> I can't do it with this one. I just, yeah, it just hurts. Almost. Right? Um, there was something else that I could do that you couldn't. Oh, like, flare my nostrils. I don't know if you can see it from there. <laughs> Jordan can't do that either. Nope, can't burp, can't make my thumb touch my wrist, can't flare my nostrils. But he can do all kinds of, like, weird, that's cool at party trick sort of stuff, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the third one is take at least five or more other people to do this tag video. So oh tag, my gosh. So tag them, I guess, or call them out or whatever. I don't even know who's done this already. I think I'm really late to the party on this one. Um, I've been meaning to record this video forever and I just hadn't got around to it. If you're watching this and you do YouTube videos, consider yourself tagged. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Any remaining plant tubers. If you haven't already tagged. done it. Nikki just tagged you, so go do it. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you know who you are. You know. All right, well, look at that. I only got one plant done in that entire time. Well, it took a bit to get it out of the that was pot crazy. it was in. That was cray cray. That's quite the root system. Cheers. Cheers to that. I got like a sip <laughs> left. Ah. Tasty. All right, well... 
Thank you, Jordan, very much, my lovely assistant, for asking me the questions today. Anytime. Which made Always it easier well. to use my hands for this mess. Always happy to help out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. And thank you, you thank you, you guys. Take a breath. <laughs> thank you to you guys for watching. Uh, for liking and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't already, please go ahead and consider doing so. It is a great help uh, to myself and to my channel. And, um, you know, if you like any of my videos, go ahead and feel free to share them with your friends. Just send it all over the place. Don't even ask them. Just send them. Don't even ask. They'll Just appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Just if it's something that you think is interesting or fun or think might be helpful for someone else, then go ahead and share it. Um, yeah, every little bit helps. Anyway, I will stop rambling now. Um, thank you guys so much again. Have a great day, night, week, month, and year, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah!